here are more excellent examples that you can really learn from. I'll try to take my time here, but move quickly at the same time. Let's look at the first example in red. We're going to create the volatile table, order vol as select everything from the table with data on commit preserve rows. It's going to pull the information from the table like we've seen in the past. The second is going to say create the volatile table order of all as select everything from the order table with no data. You've got to say with data or with no data. There's no default, but this is how I bring the basic table structure over with no data. And notice I gave it a primary index. Otherwise, it would default to the first column of the table on commit preserve rows, keep it around the entire session. In my example with the green arrow, create volatile table, give it a table name as I'm only selecting some of the columns from the original table. And of course I say with data and statistics. It'll bring over the statistics if it makes sense, otherwise it'll zero those out. When I recollect at the table level, it'll collect on the same columns from the original table. Okay, and the last example, this is really important. This is the one I wanted to get to. This is the difference between what you've seen in the past and what you're going to see right now here. Create volatile table, order volatile three as order table, not as select everything from order table, as order table. And that means you pull this from the original table with the exact same table structure. Primary index, secondary indexes, any referential constraints, referential integrity. In other words, I want everything in those table structures to be exactly alike. You can't change the primary index. I like the other technique where you open the parens and say select asterisk from the table because I want to change some things or I don't want to copy everything. But here in this last example is the perfect difference. You will either say create volatile table as another table, exact structure, or you're going to open those parens and say select asterisk or select the columns from it because I want to make a few changes and I don't want things to be exact. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.